All right, I am going to be giving you guys a preview of the Among Us map that I have made in Halo Reach Forge. Um, the map is going to be super dark with lots of neon lights, uh, but obviously the camera on my phone might not be able to pick that up so clean. So this, I'm just going to show you this for a second and get you an idea of how dark it is. And there's different th color themes for the rooms too. Um, but I'm going to go through the whole map in the dark, and then I'm going to turn off some of the special effects that are making it dark like nighttime, and then I'm going to go through it again in the light, so that if any of you have trouble seeing what, what I'm doing, you'll be able to see it the second time around, okay? But uh, a lot of the rooms are color-coded, so the blue one that we came from is the, the what's it called, generator room, and you have... This active camo power up, which is also blue, so, you know, matches the color coding. There's these blue shields. Now, these blue shields, you see that I'm punching them, right? Uh, you can walk through them, you cannot shoot through them. If you shoot, the bullets just bounce off. If you throw a grenade, the grenade bounces off as if it's a wall. So if I throw a grenade at this, I'm going to do it right now, it bounces at my feet and almost kills me. So, yeah, do not uh, mess with those. But like I said, you can walk back and forth. Uh, this is the generator. You'll notice on the, the radar in the bottom left corner, I specifically modified all of the labels for the geography so that you know where you are. So it's going to say the word generator next to your little radar. Um, these little things are powering the generator. They're fusion coils. If they are attacked enough, they do explode. So be mindful of that. I'm going to go through this little tunnel here. And Colosseum is, is the generic uh, location name. That's not what the, the room is. So if you ever see Colosseum, it's, you're transitioning between rooms and that's why you're seeing it. Yellow lift, that's where we are now. Yellow lift is the gravity lift. So there's a small step down here, right? And that small step takes you to a platform. And there's another shield wall. Well, it's, I guess it's more like a shield floor here. And that's the gravity lift that is the reason why this is called yellow lift. So you walk on it, and that'll take you all the way up. Uh, some other interesting things. These uh, wooden walls, these are destroyable. You're supposed to break these up. So that has two functions, right? One of the functions of these wooden walls is they're also painted to be color-coded, so you know where you're going. Um, it can slow down zombies. The way Among Us is working for the, the game mode, that I, I'm going to have to playtest a little bit more for the game mode half of this, but the map is done. Um, the zombies are slowed down by the wooden walls, but humans are also slowed down, right? So as a human player, if you're trying to, to camp out and hide, you can break one wall but leave the other up, right? And so you can camp out here and point your gun that way, and you know that if a zombie comes from the other side, you have to or they have to break the wall first so you can immediately react to hearing that they're banging on the wooden walls. Um, here's another set of grav lifts in the yellow lift. I'm going to drop down here. And that also takes you up here to the top. Uh, and they also they have the shield walls. Now if you're wondering, why do I have so many shield walls? And why do I have so many shield floors? Uh, that is for gameplay balance. Um, if you are using a grav lift as a zombie and a human is at the top, you're a sitting duck, right? Because zombies don't get to have guns. Humans do. So it, you'd be able to shoot down a zombie before they ever touch you if I don't have the, the shield walls. Um, but in other places, shield walls are there for, for everyone's sake, not just for the zombie's sake. So uh, there is the clear utility for everyone. Um, now, in Among Us... The zombies are able to transport around the room through vents, right? And that is actually similar, is identical to what's going on here. So this orange shield wall, um, you cannot pass through the orange side. But if you're on the other side, it's blue. So if you're inside this little uh, air vent, you can jump out, but nobody can jump back in. And you'll notice that there's a teleporter in the back there. So all of the air vents for every room are connected in a network. And the network goes to a central hub, and that central hub is color-coded, just like the rooms are color-coded. So the zombies will always know where to go, because they'll know, hey, all the survivors, humans, are in the green room. I'll take the green teleporter. They're in the yellow room. I'll take the yellow teleporter. Stuff like that. So...
down from the yellow lift room. We got a tunnel. We got more of these uh, wooden pallets. Um, the reason why they're glowing, they, they're, they won't glow white like this in the game. Um, that's the label marker for yellow lift. That's the reason why the border is glowing. So, you know, I walk past it. Now it says Colosseum. That's the generic term. Green is storage. Uh, specifically, green is guns and ammo storage. So in the back here, there's a bunch of wooden pallets, multiple in a row that you have to break through, and you have an ammo cabinet. So ammo cabinets will replenish all your bullets for your guns. A very, very tactical idea for the humans to take that ammo cabinet. And then if you continue around, um, I'm a little dark in this room, wow. I mean, I guess all the rooms are dark. But if you continue around, you can find other pallets. And if you break those up, hey look, I found a new gun. Or you can break this one. And, oh, that's another assault rifle. I already have one. And I think there's a, oh uh, yeah, there's a third one here. And this one's the grenade launcher. And by the way, the grenade launcher also gives you new grenades to launch from the ammo cabinet. Grenade launchers potentially one of the most powerful weapons you could be using for this. Now there is a catch. Um, the catch is if you use, if you're familiar with the grenade launcher in this game, it, it takes long to reload because you get one shot and then it, here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. you know, I fire it and that, that doesn't feel like a lot when you're watching it, but in the middle of combat, that's a lifetime because if that shot missed, right, you compare that to a DMR, like I can spam the fuck out of this like 15 times. And if I miss my first shot, I got 14 more. But if I shoot a grenade and the zombie just dodges it, I'm basically screwed. So whoever has a grenade launcher, you either have to be really skilled or you're going to have to have buddies with you, helping you, coordinating. Teamwork's super important. Uh, this room. So you'll notice that all of the spawners in there are red and this is an orange shield. So that is actually where humans are going to start, right? And the humans... Uh, are on the inside, where on their side this wall is blue, so the humans cannot be attacked early, right? The zombies can pile up here, and as much as they try, the zombies will just bounce right off. Uh, but the humans that are spawning on the inside will get launched out if they approach the, the shield door. We have the white room. No, wait, that's... I'm derping. This is a, a glass, so that's why I can't walk through that. That's glass. But this is a pallet. Broke through. White room. The atrium. And on the other side, another pallet. Ta-da! Central atrium is the white room. And the white room has this nice little pathway in the back. And there's this ramp. And it gets you to the upper part. And there's also a shield door wall, whatever you want to call it, here across the middle. So the reason why that's here is, again, gameplay balance. If I was a human, and I'm in, like, a back corner or something, and I'm shooting straight down that way, like, the zombie has no way of approaching without dying. It's it's a straight shot. Um, but, spawning in. This is my favorite room for spawning. I for, oh, wow, I forgot spawning for the green room, too. White room, the air vents are straight over your head. Zombies can drop in on top of your head. All up there. Anywhere that you see orange, that is a place where you cannot jump up or shoot, but zombies can drop down. And I'm gonna go back to the green room. It's the same thing in the green room. That's the air vents above, that's the air vents above. Um, the green room is arguably even scarier for the air vents ab above your head because of all of the uh, giant storage crates that will obscure where the zombies are, are dropping down. So, you know, let's say a zombie dropped down from that air vent and I'm on this side, I would not see it at all. And I wouldn't see him until I'm right here and getting killed. Um, another spot the zombies can hide, and it's a little bit hard to see in the dark here, is this lip, right? So a human, humans do not have the uh, percentage increase for jumping that I give zombies. So a zombie could just regular jump. You don't need a jetpack or nothing. And the zombie can hide right here. Just camping out right on this little lip. And if humans are running right through this hallway, let's say that you know that the humans are coming from spawn and they're going to the green room and you are quick enough to drop down, jump from maybe the missile rack up there. I think a human can do that too, actually. Which would be kind of funny. But, uh, no, okay. Humans cannot because the ceiling's too low there. 
But uh, yeah. Oh wait, maybe this one. Yes. Okay. So humans, if you're clever, right off that lip on the missile rack, you could do it too. Um, but yeah, if, if anyone's here, anyone who's coming from this hallway, unless they're looking up and, and like they do a melee to parry that energy sword, they're gonna die. Now let's say from the spawner, maybe the humans don't want to go to the green room with the ammo cabinet. They can go to the white room, the atrium. Maybe they don't want to go to the atrium. They go to the red room. The red room is a medical lab. So break through that. There's another one on the other side if you go the other way. Into the medical lab. Medical lab has med kits. There's that one. There's another one. So probably not ideal to come to the med lab first. It probably makes more sense to go to the armory or storage for the guns first, and then you come here later when you get injured but you're not dead. Um, there's also this little experiment lab room thing, um, another shield door, and inside you'll see that there is red power up. Red power up is over shields. So let me jump up. You'll have to jump up in there. If you're just walking up to it, you'll bounce off because it's a little high. But yeah, now I have you know over shield. Supercharged shield. And leading off from the red room, we have. Oh, these are poppable energy shields. And now this is just um, a window to shoot through, but they come back. Super nice. And you have a little corner here that the zombies can hide or whatever, or humans can use it too. And coming up from the red lab, you go to the blue second floor and the second floor blue is up here these are the um special effects that are making the, the whole place dark and all that um so yeah we're back in the generator area and that's the yellow room that i showed you guys earlier um right there is where zombies can drop through for that room uh, i forgot to show you zombies can also air vent from up there and down on the other side and then if you're in the generator room itself with the big generator, I love that the fusion coils make a hum sound. Zombies can jump in through, I think the other way? Yeah, from there. And the way that the zombies can sneak up on you is they jump out, land on top of this thing, and they can just, if they have parkour skills, leap from cover to this walk rail thing to on top of a fusion coil and just dance around this generator and make you paranoid. And then eventually get the drop on you. Yep, going invisible again. But another direction you can go from that generator room, right? Because down there's the, the red medical lab. Down there's a generator. Down there's a yellow lift. You can go this way. Break this down. This is the maze called the server room. And the server room, if you don't know where you're going, is very disorienting. But... I promise you, and I'm going to show you as proof, that there is absolutely a reason to come here. There is a reason to go through the server room maze. Here's the scary part. Zombies can drop in through random parts of the maze. Anywhere that you see orange, zombies can drop in to attack you from there, from there, from there. There's a couple other places. I'm going to go across. Zombies can drop in from there. And... Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and right at the end, you have a machine gun turret, the, the big heavy duty machine gun. So this, this is why the maze is worth going through as a human, because if you have the big 200 round machine gun turret, you're super deadly at anything medium range, even long range. This thing, you'll lose a little bit more ammo because some of your shots are not going to land at long distance, but you're going to pelt down the hell out of anybody with this thing. It's, it's fantastic. Um, maybe your team will consider the risk worth getting the, the heavy machine gun. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, just stuff to look into. God, it's so dark. Uh, you know what? I'm going to start a new round. Round over. There we go. 
And say, I'm going to have a lot of trouble getting back out of that maze. Because I haven't memorized it perfectly yet. So I was just like, yeah, let's, let's not bother with that. Uh, what was it? That's another spawn in the corner. Let's break this down. Okay. So that was the server maze. This is the second floor blue room, which is where the generator is in that corner. And now I'm going to turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. Now you guys should be able to see a lot better. And if you guys have a preference for maybe the, the dark setting is just too dark and you want to see it like this, I can do that for you guys and that's perfectly fine. Um, so we're in the second floor generator room. That's the camouflage power up in the blue room. This is the generator with all of the fusion coils. These explode. Be careful about that. Up there is where the zombies can jump out and kill you. And on the other side, there's another spot where the zombies can jump out and kill you. Come down here. Break those down. Yellow lift room. Like I said, you can make tactical decisions about, like, break one side but not the other so that you can keep one person aimed here and the other person will know... If that door breaks down, shoot. Otherwise, be cover fire for this side. Um, shield. You can walk through it. You can jump through it. You cannot shoot through it. Drop down. Zombies jump out of there. This is a nice little shooting platform. Another shield. If you want to go all the way back up, you have to go down first. So if you're just going to hover back and forth or you just walk over it. If you're here, you need to like take a long jump. And then directly step on it with your foot. And that will get you the full height. Oh, I forgot the yellow power. I don't know if I'm going to program what the yellow power up does or not. I, I had a couple ideas. I think um, I might power up the yellow to mean infinite ammo. I'm not sure. Um, break through that. Go to the green room, which is where the guns and ammo are stored. That's the grenade launcher. And in the corner here. Ammo cabinet. Zombies can jump from there, or from there, or from there, or from back there, or I think from one more, maybe? Maybe not. But yeah, lots of, of air vent for where the zombies can jump out from. Um, here's another spot. DMR. And... Assault Rifle. Personally, I'd probably pick the DMR over an Assault Rifle, but if you're not comfortable with headshots, if you're not sure that you can get reliable, then an Assault Rifle is perfectly fine. Break that down. That's where the humans will spawn. Zombies can absolutely drop down right after. Right? Zombies can, can jump from here and get a quick, cheap kill that way. Just, just so you know as humans, be careful about that up there, but... Um, yeah, they, they cannot jump into where you're actually spotting. That little square of, of space is strictly humans. And you go up here, break this down. You're in the atrium. Zombies can jump from the air vents up there. And more in the back. You come up the ramp. Now you're on the second floor. Let's break the red down. Now you're in the medical lab. Keep walking through the medical lab. Up here. And now we're back to that blue uh, room. And I don't think I need to do the maze again. The maze is just as confusing when it's light as when it's dark. Like, it's, it's bad either way. Uh, on purpose, that's the whole point of a maze. And... Oh, I forgot that there's this little spot here. You can shoot through this. No, you can't. I should be able to. Oh, no, this is the glass kind. All right, never mind. You cannot shoot through this. Yeah, I could not see those subtle lines, but you can see through it. Um, so that is a camping spot for, for either side to, to figure out how to use if you want to use it. Um, yes, okay. I am going to temporarily delete a piece here. So that you can start seeing how the zombies are coming in for the Amogus theme. And yeah, this is what the zombies will see. So the zombies can look down from the air vents and they can see you. And like I said, you can drop through a blue, but you cannot jump through an orange. 
Orange side, no. Blue side, you can walk through. Go back up there. Okay. Zombies can come back down here. Blocked off, zombies cannot cheap kill you immediately when you spawn, but they can cheap kill you right after if you leave. So be careful about that. I'm going to show you the other ones. Or you know what? It might be easier if... Here, I'm going to... Yeah. So, that's where this whole thing is located. That's why it says Coliseum when you're in a generic spot. Um, and and 99% of the map is there. There's only like one thing uh, that's not there, and it's in this little cave, and it's for the zombies. Um, so I'm going to go to where the zombies are, are supposed to start. Or where they're supposed to, to respawn and whatnot. And zombies, don't go that way. There's nothing that way. That's just empty space. But this is where the zombies start out. And they jump down. And like I said, it's color-coded. So you got the, your green, your yellow on that side, your red there, and your blue. So let's look at green. And now this is what the zombies see in the ammo storage and gun room. back let's go to yellow this is what the zombies can see from their air vents in yellow go to blue blue is really really funky because the the three drop points are close but because it's a maze they they're actually completely separate areas of how the walls are dividing underneath between those three ports. There's nothing up there. Okay. And you can also walk this way as a zombie. That's another way down. That's another way down. And that's another way down. And right there is the generator. And like I said, if a zombie has skill, they can do that stuff. They can parkour all over these things and jump around and, and make people get real nervous real fast. Um, is that all four? I don't know, oh wait, I don't think I showed red. I should probably do that. Right, I'm gonna temporarily delete that so I can go back in that teleporter. Let's go to red. So red, they can drop down in this little camping spot. So that's another thing. If you're a human, and as a human you want to go here and camp, a zombie can drop right over your head. And then zombies can also go where the hospital beds are. These are intended to be hospital beds. Bit easier to see that, obviously, when it's not as dark. I don't know why these are offset funny. I'm going to have to fix that. That's weird. But yeah, that that's my Among Us map. Um, come back up here. There is no teleporter for white. Um, I forgot what I did. I feel I'm pretty sure I connected where white is to, to other spaces, but I do not at all remember how I did, if I did, but I thought I did. Um, yeah, right now it's not looking like the atrium is actually connected to anything. That's kind of weird. Um, I'm also I'm, I might have to like actually mod the the, the uh, map itself or a runoff of a modded program because there is a there's a budget when you go as as uh, a monitor you can see in the bottom right corner there's a budget for parts but I think I might have hit an item count limit too because there's also a, like an individual object count limit um, and if if that's what my obstacle was a couple months ago or whatever then that would have been why I didn't connect white to anything else because I ran out I ran out um, but if I can get that modded, probably by porting with PC or whatever, I'll put one more teleporter in white, I'll connect it to the hub of teleporters in the cave, and then the zombies will be able to use white room too. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about my you know, Among Us map with the zombie um, coming from the air vents or whatever. I hope you guys like it, and I'd love to playtest it with y'all.